In the KTH CNC Google Drive folder, there is both a tool library file which can be imported into Fusion 360 as well as a more frequently updated tool library in a Google Sheets format. The KTH CNC Google Drive folder is available via the long link that is supplied in the description as well as entering tiny.cc slash kthcnc. That is a short link to the Google Drive folder as well. In the KTH CNC Google Drive folder, go to Fusion 360, then go to Tool Library. And here, the latest supplied tool library .tools file is found, as well as a more frequently updated Google Sheets document. The logic here is that you download this tool library file, import it into Fusion 360, get an overview of what tools are available, and then you double check in the more frequently updated KTH CNC tool library Google Sheets document that the values are correct and that the tool itself is still in commission. There are incidents where tools break. Download a .tools file either by right clicking on it and click download or by clicking the three dots here and do the same. With it downloaded, put it in a directory of your choice, then back in Fusion 360. Make sure that you are in the manufacture workspace and click this button or expand this and click the same here to go to the tool library. Here, you simply right click on the local subcategory here and click the import libraries option here. Maneuver to the directory where you stored your tool library file, select it and open it. Now you have imported all the CNC tools available for use in the KTH architecture workshop. Those tools, which are prefixed with a one in their name, are available for use, while those that lack this are decommissioned and not available for use. Click close to confirm. This concludes the fifth part in this tutorial series, how to import a tool library into Fusion 360.